Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. I'm PJ. I'm located in Northwest Arkansas where I run uh, ARBA registered rabbitry. I raise commercial meat breed rabbits. I raise New Zealand's in black, blue, and broken and silver fox in black and blue. And we've recently gone through and uh, tattooed uh, and went through a bunch of made litters and uh, I picked through those. I only had a handful of calls. Uh, May was a really good month to me. Uh, most of those were really nice animals that are um, show worthy in my opinion. Um, there was a couple of Charlies that I thought were really nice uh, and brood worthy since Charlies can't be shown. Anyway, I ended up with too many on my show teams, what I've got. Um, so I'm going to go through today and show you who's on the show team. And uh, hopefully I can point out who I'm going to take to Abilene uh, this weekend. Um, I haven't quite made up my mind on those, but I'm hoping as I go through them I can say, well, I'm not taking this one because... And then hopefully that gives me an idea in my head that I can come back and jot notes. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at All that. All right, team. this guy has been with us for quite a while now. He is out of um, Cass and Bentley. A real nice fella. Uh, I love the hindquarters on him. Um, right now he's out of coat and not in very good condition. But uh, flesh condition is nice. Uh, I think he just turned a senior. I took him to Longview, and he was still a 6'8", and uh, he was 9 pounds 2 ounces then, and I had wanted to get him registered, uh, but I didn't take his pedigree with me. Um, I didn't realize he was over 9 pounds, um, so um, <laughs> I did not get him registered. So I am going to take him to Abilene this weekend. Now I know uh, he's more rust than he is blue. Um, I'm probably going to show him anyway. He does have a really nice body type and he gets a lot of good comments. Unfortunately, he has not had any competition other than uh, best of variety bucks, you know, in other black, broken, and whites. Oh, and reds. Uh, but uh, he has not been able to win best of breed or best opposite sex breed yet. Uh, but he is a really nice buck, and he's had a lot of great comments. Uh, as far as a blue buck that I have raised, I think so far he has right, been the right nicest. Right next to him is a young buck. Um, he is out of Dave and Gaylor, um, I believe. Uh, a March baby, perhaps? I'm not sure. He might be a May. Or, I'm sorry, not a May. I know he's not May. He's either March or April. I'm not real sure... Um, I don't have it on his hutch card, so I'm going to have to look that up and bring that out. But real nice guy. Uh, I showed him in uh, Longview three weeks ago, and he had some fabulous comments. Uh, he competed up against Tex. Uh, now, Tex took best of variety, uh, but uh, the second judge that looked at this guy said that uh, Tex won on maturity. That by this guy uh, reached full development, he would outdo tax. So uh, I think I'm going to hang on to this guy for a while. But I'm not going to show him in Abilene this weekend. Uh, one, I need I have some other bucks I want to have judged. Uh, but two, uh, I just put him next to uh, the Bentley and Cash buck, the senior buck right next door. And so the first few days, they fussed and tussled, and uh, you probably see on his forehead, um, he was bald on his forehead for a while. Now, he has grown his fur back. It's not quite even yet, um, but he's not bald anymore. But I'm going to let him sit at home this weekend, uh, let that fur have a chance to grow out and uh, get even and give these other bucks a chance to we show. We have a whole lot of babies to uh, look at. I, I'm taking way too much time. 
Uh, the next buck, this is a um, Blue Boy and Cass. This is a March baby, I believe. And uh, this is buck number four. Uh, we had quite a few bucks in that litter, and we had some nice ones, but I went ahead and sold a couple of them already. Uh, I think one of them had a white toenail, and so I um, called that one, or maybe it was a white spot, or maybe he didn't measure up or something. I don't remember, but I do think I called one, I sold one, and then I have two bucks left. Uh, I have buck number four, and I have buck number two, the uh, March babies. They're out of Blue Boy and Cass. And one of these two is going to remain on the show team. So uh, I'm going to make the decision uh, at Abilene this weekend. And the other one uh, will be up for sale. Both of these boys are too nice um, to get rid of. So I'll have to sell one uh, to make room. I've got another buck that's coming up on the... The, uh, All right, and there's also. our third blue buck. Uh, he'll be going. And uh, like I said, he's the brother. He's buck number two. He's our blue, uh, blue boy and Cass. A real smart looking buck here. Uh, one of these two I'm going to keep. And one of these two I'm going to sell. All right, then the next buck up on the show team is this handsome fella right here. A nice little broken black. Uh, he is um, out of Keo and Kirby. So he is a Duluth carrier. And actually, I have one of his brothers and one of his sisters that is also on the show team. Uh, because I have his brother, one of these two will be for sale. Uh, this is 8KK2, and the broken blue buck, which you'll see uh, next, is his brother. And he's 8KK1. And these guys were born on April 10th. So they're a little bit younger than the, the three blue bucks that I'm going to be showing this weekend. Uh, and then these, uh, this guy and this next one will be some broken bucks. Alrighty then, see. we have the back side of, come on, come on, there we go. Nice little broken blue buck. I love this guy. Um, I think he is probably going to be the one that I keep. I'm most likely going to sell his brother, the broken black buck. Um, I'm going to wait and see what the judges say, but I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So this guy and his brother will be going to Abilene. All right next up are these two black fellas, and these these guys are rural youngsters. Uh, both of these are May babies. Uh, these are out of Bentley and De Queen, and I loved both of these black bucks. Um, I don't need uh, two more black bucks. I mean, I have um, one, two, three, four. I think I have five black bucks on the show team. Uh, I'm definitely going to take these two uh, because one of these is going to be posted for sale. And so I want to see what the judges say on them. And then after that, um, I'll decide. I may hang on to them for a little bit longer uh, because they are young. They're only May babies. Uh, so even though one might be better than the other today, um, you know, in another month or two, um, the other one might be better. And so I might hang on to them for a little while or I might just go ahead and um, sell one next week. I don't know. And we're going to wait and see what the judges have to say. But these two will go. So, so far that gives me three blue bucks, two broken bucks, and two broken, or two black bucks. That's, that's a lot to take on the show. All right, and next to them, we actually have three bucks. We got these two black and then that blue. Um, the blue buck I'm going to leave at home. Uh, I've got the other three that I need to take, uh, and he's a little bit younger. So I'm going to choose between the two brothers that's out there. Uh, and then this guy will take the place of the one that I sell. And then I have two more black bucks. And so since these guys are brothers, I might leave them at home. So these three, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave at home for this weekend. Uh, because I have 
two other bucks that I want to take. I want to take these. Um, I just can't take that many. So I need to sell some and make room for these um, since these are a little bit younger. Oh, by the way, these are out of Witter and Kirby. So a real nice litter. Um, we had seven in that litter and six of them I kept. Um, they're just too nice not to keep. So uh, I've got to thin them down though. Uh, only one of these three is going to be staying. I don't need three Witter and Kirby bucks. Uh, so okay, we're just going to wait and, and see. Here are the last of my show bucks. Uh, we have one black and one broken. These guys are out of Greasy and Shawnee. And man, um, these guys are absolutely Let's gorgeous. Go I doe. love these guys. And here is the oldest doe. She just turned senior just a day or two ago. Um, I believe she probably meets weight. I mean, she's a good sized doe. And she normally holds her ear up. <laughs> Today is like a 90 degree day. And so she's... Uh, being a little lazy today. Um, I just recently named her because I was deciding on whether to show her or breed her. Uh, so I'm probably going to make that decision uh, when I weigh her to see whether she goes to the show or not. Uh, if she meets weight, I'll take her and I'll show her and I'll get her registered. And if she does not meet weight, uh, but she's close, then I'll probably go ahead and um, I just recently get her named bread. her, and her name is Grace Hollows Joy. So uh, Joy probably won't stay with me long term. I'm not quite sure. I haven't decided on her yet. I really like this doe. Uh, she's out of Dave and Houston. Uh, Houston was a broken blue, so this girl is a Duluth carrier. Uh, and Houston should have been a registered grand champion. Uh, she would have been if, um, well, if she hadn't uh, uh, had trouble delivering her last litter and died, um, she would have been a registered grand champion, but uh, she died before I got the paperwork done. So anyway, um, real nice doe here and out of Houston's lines and out of Dave's lines. Um, you know, I, I just kind of really like to keep this doe, but I'm not sure I'm going to keep her long term. Uh, I'm trying to keep my rabbitry down to 12 brood does. And right now I do have 11. Um, and this girl makes 12. Uh, how, uh, however, I know i got some juniors coming up that I really do like. Uh, so I don't know if she's going to stay long term or if she's going to stay for the fall and winter breeding and then uh, make room for uh, some of these fall show rabbits. I'm not sure, but anyway, let's continue. All right, next up we've got these two does, and these two does I absolutely love. Uh, they're out of uh, Bentley and the Queen, and this doe right here I think uh, might be my favorite. Um, unfortunately, uh, the fault with her, you can't see her because sister's hogging the camera, as she has an uneven nose marking, um, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to see what the judges say. Now, that's only a fault. It is not a DQ. Um, Cash has an uneven nose marking, and he's a registered grand champion. Uh, who else did I have? Um, Noble, she had seven or eight grand champion legs. And uh, she had an uneven nose marking. And someone else, I think it might have been Possum Grape. I'm not sure. Uh, one of my other registered grand champion does had an uneven nose marking. Um, I really favor that doe. Uh, now this other doe is a really nice doe too. Uh, I really like her. Uh, I'm not quite sure she's as full as her sister. Uh, but I will probably hang on to both of these girls for a little while um, because I've seen sisters uh, switch places before, like Biggers and um, Everlong, you know, their sisters. And they're both uh, registered grand champions, or Biggers was before before she died. But, uh, you know, uh, Biggers started out uh, the nicer doe, but in the end, 
once they get reached their senior years, Everlong was uh, a nicer doe than Biggers. But they were both very nice does, and this could be the case with these two. Uh, it may be like um, Cash and Moco and be a race to see, you know, who develops the best and the quickest and who finishes out the best. Uh, so I'm going to watch these two does for a little while. All right, like then we have these two does, and uh, they're actually sharing a pen, but they are not sisters. Uh, one of them is out of uh, Bentley and the Queen, and the other one is out of Dave and Cass. And I really like these two girls, and uh, I can't keep all of these black does. I have, I think, five black does on the show team. Uh, one I know for sure I will keep. Um, two I know for sure I will keep. Probably three I know for sure I will keep. <laughs> Um, I don't know how long term, uh, maybe through the show season and then keep my favorite of the three, I don't know. But uh, for the entirety of the show season, I've got to get these dwindled down to three. And this is the first two. Right next to them are the next two. Uh, these are not sisters either. Uh, these girls are out of Cash and Nelly. And the other one is out of uh, Blue uh, Blue Boy and Everlong. Um, the Everlong doll is the one laying down and hiding behind the front one. So anyway, uh, that's the first six dolls on the show team. By the way, all four of these will go this weekend. Okay, next up to that are um, Nellie's two uh, broken does. These two will not go to Abilene this weekend. I really like these girls, especially the broken blue. Um, but both of these girls are slightly on the small side. Well, one, the broken blue doe, slightly small. She was six pounds, four ounces, I think. So I want to see what she does. And this black doe, uh, she was only a little over five pounds I think she was five pounds four ounces so she's really small for her age but I tell you what I've had these girls just separated between the two of them right here by themselves not even a week yet uh, and I, I'm really tempted to put this girl on the scale because uh, I think she's already gained uh, she looks like she's caught up with her sister uh, maybe, maybe not. You put them side beside, maybe not. Um, but she has grown quite a bit in just, um, you know, just five or six days that these girls have been separated out from the litter and put All into right, their Here's own one cage. of my older does. Uh, she's an April doe. She's my broken blue. That's out of Alex and Possum Grape. I have really liked this girl since she was in the nest box uh, just two three weeks old I fell in love with this girl and uh, I really hope she uh, develops and blooms I like this doe a lot um, I've got a couple more that's come in after her that's really nice and uh, I, I don't know I hope <laughs> I hope they don't push her down the scale because I really love this doe um, but I can't keep them all you know uh, but for now, she is on my list of keepers. It's going to take quite a bit to convince me not to keep this girl. Uh, okay, and I then we have her. this girl. Beautiful doe. Man, look at her. Uh, she reminds me so much of Everlong uh, in her body type and her build, uh, even her markings. Beautiful doe. Uh, now, she is not one of Everlong's does. Surprisingly... Uh, this doe is out of Keo and Kirby. And I say surprisingly because uh, Keo is uh, a small doe. She didn't meet weight, uh, Charlie, Charlie Doe. Uh, and Kirby, Kirby is a small buck, but um, he fluctuates. He stays right on that 9-pound mark uh, at his prime, at peak. Uh, I've seen him reach up to 9 pounds 4 ounces. And when he loses down 
and he you know like summertime when it's hot and he's not eating much I've seen him drop as low as uh, eight eight pounds twelve ounces so he fluctuates four ounces up four ounces down uh, but he's usually within those four ounces of nine pounds so he's at legal weight um, but just barely uh, so a legal weight plus you know a small dough they actually made uh, look at the size of this girl she's actually real good sized dough uh, she's an April baby and she's you know a, a good sized baby so and she is currently the last dough the last homegrown dough on my show team uh, so that gives me one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 show dough, homegrown show doughs. Now I say homegrown because I have two more doughs. This on is the, show the first team. time you've seen these girls. I have not done their introductory videos yet. I picked them up in Longview. We have this little black dough here. Uh, I've already picked out names for them. Uh, this is Ivy, and I need to do her introductory video so I can tell you all about the town of Ivy. Um, but she's a really nice doll, and I'm happy to have her on the team. I made the mistake of putting her here. She's got two bucks right behind her, right there. Yeah. And so they've been spraying her, and look at her fur. Uh, just kind of sticky and uh, discolored. Uh, because of that, she will not go to the show this weekend. She's going to stay home. I'm sorry, Ivy. You need a new coat of fur before you go to the show. All right, and next to her is actually her sister. I really like this doe. She's another one that I picked up in Longview. Uh, her name is Holly, and uh, that is spelled H-O-L-L-E-Y. Uh, -L -L uh, that's the name of a town here in Arkansas. And again, uh, I need to do her um, introductory video so that I can tell you all about the town of Holly. So currently what that does is give us a total of 26 show animals. That is too many. I don't need that many show animals so I'm going to have to narrow that down. Alright, so that's what we have going on on the show team right now. Um, 26 animals, that's quite a few. Uh, I've got to get that number down. I can only show 12 at a time, and I would like to have a few extras uh, to rotate in and out uh, for when the conditions. Wow! Good thing I hurried that up. We got us a nice little storm coming in. Uh, so I'm going to have to hurry up, write notes on who's going, get my ear numbers, and get all my paperwork done tonight. Uh, and it looks like I'm going to have to uh, probably load up in the morning because it looks like I'm going to be loading in the rain if I try to load tonight. Hey, uh, down below I'm going to leave some links. One will be to my website where you can get my show schedule. And uh, hopefully I'll keep up to date on the show results. Uh, I have a blog on that website. Um, a link to the Rabbits fan page. That way you can see what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis here at the Rabbitry. And one to my personal Facebook page. So if you have a comment or a question, uh, you can feel free to contact me through my personal page or through Messenger. Thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless. By the way, I've got to show you the silver fox. Right here we have Pepper Jack, who is still on the show team. Uh, I'm not going to be showing silver fox this weekend, uh, because my partner, well, not partner, but my uh, competitor, won't be attending, and so I'm afraid there won't be enough competition. So um, I won't be taking any of the silver fox. Uh, but we have Pepper Jack that's still on the show team. And then uh, I haven't named this guy, and I haven't even tattooed him yet. But he's the junior uh, black buck out of Risky. 
he is now, uh, uh, he was born in late April, I think, so uh, he's still a youngster. And then we still have Bree. I think she's a 6'8 doe. Uh, so she's still on the show team. A really nice doe. I like her a lot. And then we have her brother, Kobe, who is still on the show team. Uh, I think he's a rather nice looking buck my, uh, as well. So uh, these four are the silver fox that's on the show team. Uh, Idoli. I would like to have a buck and a doe, a uh, blue pair and a black pair to take uh, right now. I suppose I could show Velveeta. Um, I don't know if she's a senior yet. I think she just recently turned senior. Uh, she was 10 pounds, so she's senior weight. So um, I guess in theory I could show her in Pepper Jack still, but... Um, I'm trying to breed her. <laughs> anyway, I uh, thought I'd come back and show you the silver fox.